Good morning, church. Fourth of July. Welcome to Sunday. James Montney will start us off with it let God will take care of you. Sunday devotion is from the Upper Room Discipline, written by James Harnish. And our scripture this morning is Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Beautiful in elevation is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great king. Within its citadels, God has shown himself a sure defense. And then the kings assembled, and they came on together. And as soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic. They took to flight. Trembling took hold of them there. Pains as of a woman in labor, as when an east wind shatters the ship of Tarshish. As when we have heard, and so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, which God establishes forever. We ponder your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your name, O God, is like your praise, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with victory. Let Mount Zion be glad, and let the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgment. Walk around Zion, go all around it, count its towers. Consider well its ramparts, go through its citadels so that you may tell the next generation that this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide forever. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Psalm 46, 47, and 48 are a trio of psalms that lift the vision of the worshiper along a jingoistic celebration of the city of Jerusalem to the God who is king over all the nations. Perhaps John remembered Psalm 46, 4, when he envisioned the river that flows through the new Jerusalem and the tree that brings healing to the nations. The Washington National Cathedral stands at the highest point of land in the District of Columbia, high above the all high altar is the massive carving of Christ in majesty, in which the risen Christ holds the globe in his hand. On this day, when citizens of the United States celebrate the ideals that gave birth to our nation, this cathedral points to the Christ who reigns above every city or nation. The whole world is held in God's grace and judgment any citizen, city, or nation fulfills its highest purpose when it becomes part of the fulfillment of Jesus' vision of God's kingdom, coming on earth as it was already fulfilled in heaven. The author doesn't know why the editors of the United Methodist Hymnal placed We're Marching to Zion as the last hymn in the book, but it seems like just the right place to him. It suggests that when we have said or sung everything that we have to say or sing that there's still one more out ahead of us. We are always on the way toward the fulfillment of God's purpose that is captured in the vision of Mount Zion. God always has far more for us. We are always marching on to fairer worlds on high. When Isaac Watts published the hymn in 1707, he titled it Heavenly Joy on Earth. With the psalmist, we live with confident joy as we march on toward Zion. Let us pray. 
Then let our songs abound and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground to fairer worlds on high. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Amen. Our closing hymn is How Great Thou Art.